chlorine dioxide is a chemical compound with the formula ClO2. This yellowish-green gas crystallizes as bright orange crystals at a 59 degree Celsius. As one of several oxides of chlorine, it is a potent and useful oxidizing agent used in water treatment and in bleaching. Structure and bonding The molecule ClO2 has an odd number of valence electrons and therefore, it is a paramagnetic radical. Its electronic structure has long baffled chemists because none of the possible Lewis structures is very satisfactory. In 1933 L.O. Brockway proposed a structure that involved a three-electron bond. Chemist Linus Pauling further developed this idea and arrived at two resonance structures involving a double bond on one side and a single bond plus three-electron bond on the other. In Pauling's view the latter combination should represent a bond that is slightly weaker than the double bond. In molecular orbital theory this idea is commonplace if the third electron is placed in an anti-bonding orbital. Later workers confirmed that the HOMO is indeed an incompletely filled orbital. Preparation Chlorine dioxide is a compound that can decompose extremely violently when separated from diluting substances. As a result, preparation methods that involve producing solutions of it without going through a gas phase stage are often preferred. Arranging handling in a safe manner is essential. In the laboratory, ClO2 is prepared by oclo of sodium chloride, 2 Na ClO2 plus Cl2 or 2 ClO2 plus 2 NaCl. Over 95% of the chlorine dioxide produced in the world today is made from sodium chloride and is used for pulp bleaching. It is produced with high efficiency by reducing sodium chloride in a strong acid solution with a suitable reducing agent such as methanol, hydrogen peroxide, hydrochloric acid or sulfur dioxide. Modern technologies are based on methanol or hydrogen peroxide, as these chemistries allow the best economy and do not co-produce elemental chlorine. The overall reaction can be written. Chlorate plus acid plus reducing agent to chlorine dioxide plus byproducts. The reaction of sodium chlorate with hydrochloric acid in a single reactor is believed to proceed via the following pathway, HClO3 plus HCl HClO2 plus HOCl, HClO3 plus HClO2 or 2 ClO2 plus Cl2 plus 2 hours duo, HOCl plus HCl or Cl2 plus H2O. The commercially more important production route uses methanol as the reducing agent and sulfuric acid for the acidity. Two advantages by not using the chloride-based processes are that there is no formation of elemental chlorine, and that sodium sulfate, a valuable chemical for the pulp mill, is a side product. These methanol-based processes provide high efficiency and can be made very safe. A much smaller, but important, market for chlorine dioxide is for use as a disinfectant. Since 1999 a growing proportion of the chlorine dioxide made globally for water treatment and other small-scale applications has been made using the chlorate, hydrogen peroxide and sulfuric acid method, which can produce a chlorine-free product at high efficiency. Traditionally, chlorine dioxide for disinfection applications has been made by one of three methods using sodium chloride or the sodium chloride, hypochlorite method. 2 Na ClO2 plus 2 HCl plus Na OCl or 2 ClO2 plus 3 NaCl plus H2O, or the sodium chloride, hydrochloric acid method, 5 Na ClO2 plus 4 HCl or 5 NaCl plus 4 ClO2 plus 2 hours duo, all three sodium chloride chemistries can produce chlorine dioxide with high chloride conversion yield but unlike the other processes the chloride HCl method produces completely chlorine-free chlorine dioxide but suffers from the requirement of 25% more chloride to produce an equivalent amount of chlorine dioxide. Alternatively, hydrogen peroxide may efficiently be used also in small-scale applications. Very pure chlorine dioxide can also be produced by electrolysis of a chloride solution, 2 Na ClO2 plus 2 hours 2 OA2 ClO2 plus 2 Na O plus H2. High purity chlorine dioxide gas can be produced by the gas, solid method, which reacts dilute chlorine gas with solid sodium chloride. 2 Na ClO2 plus Cl2 or 2 ClO2 plus 2 NaCl. These processes and several slight variations have been reviewed. Handling properties 
at gas phase concentrations greater than 30% volume in air at STP, ClO2 may explosively decompose into chlorine and oxygen. The decomposition can be initiated by, for example, light, hot spots, chemical reaction, or pressure shock. Thus, chlorine dioxide gas is never handled in concentrated form, but is almost always handled as a dissolved gas in water in a concentration range of 0.5 to 10 grams per liter. Its solubility increases at lower temperatures, it is thus common to use chilled water when storing at concentrations above 3 grams per liter. In many countries, such as the USA, chlorine dioxide gas may not be transported at any concentration and is almost always produced at the application site using a chlorine dioxide generator. In some countries, chlorine dioxide solution below 3 grams per liter in concentration may be transported by land, but are relatively unstable and deteriorate quickly. Uses Chlorine dioxide is used primarily for bleaching of wood pulp and for the disinfection of municipal drinking water. Bleaching, chlorine dioxide is sometimes used for bleaching of wood pulp in combination with chlorine, but it is used alone in ECF bleaching sequences. It is used at moderately acidic pH. The use of chlorine dioxide minimizes the amount of organochlorine compounds produced. Chlorine dioxide currently is the most important bleaching method worldwide. About 95% of all bleached craft pulp is made using chlorine dioxide in ECF bleaching sequences. Chlorine dioxide is also used for the bleaching of flour. Water chlorination. The Niagara Falls, New York, water treatment plant first used chlorine dioxide for drinking water treatment in 1944 for phenol destruction. Chlorine dioxide was introduced as a drinking water disinfectant on a large scale in 1956, when Brussels, Belgium, changed from chlorine to chlorine dioxide. Its most common use in water treatment is as a preoxidant prior to chlorination of drinking water to destroy natural water impurities that produce trialomethanes on exposure to free chlorine. Trialomethanes are suspect carcinogenic disinfection byproducts associated with chlorination of naturally occurring organics in the raw water. Chlorine dioxide is also superior to chlorine when operating above penthouse 7, in the presence of ammonia and armines and or for the control of biofilms in water distribution systems. Chlorine dioxide is used in many industrial water treatment applications as a biocide including cooling towers, process water, and food processing. Chlorine dioxide is less corrosive than chlorine and superior for the control of Legionella bacteria. Chlorine dioxide is superior to some other secondary water disinfection methods in that chlorine dioxide, 1, is an EPA registered biocide, 2, is not negatively impacted by penthouse 3, does not lose efficacy over time and 4, is not negatively impacted by silica and phosphate which are commonly used potable water corrosion inhibitors. It is more effective as a disinfectant than chlorine in most circumstances against waterborne pathogenic microbes such as viruses, bacteria and protozoa euro including the cysts of Giardia and the eucysts of Cryptosporidium. The use of chlorine dioxide in water treatment leads to the formation of the byproduct chlorite, which is currently limited to a maximum of 1 ppm in drinking water in the USA. This EPA standard limits the use of chlorine dioxide in the USA to relatively high quality water or water, which is to be treated with iron based coagulants. Other disinfection uses It can also be used for air disinfection, and was the principal agent used in the decontamination of buildings in the United States after the 2001 anthrax attacks. After the disaster of Hurricane Katrina in New Orleans, Louisiana, and the surrounding Gulf Coast, Chlorine dioxide has been used to eradicate dangerous mold from houses inundated by the flood water. Sometimes it is used as a fumigant treatment to sanitize fruits such as blueberries, raspberries, and strawberries that develop molds and yeast. Chlorine dioxide is used for the disinfection of endoscopes, such as, under the trade name Tristel. It is also available in a trio consisting of a preceding pre-clean with surfactant and a succeeding rinse with deionized water and low-level antioxidant. Chlorine dioxide also is used for control of zebra and quagga mussels in water intakes. 
chlorine dioxide also was shown to be effective in bed bug eradication. Other uses, chlorine dioxide is used as an oxidant for phenol destruction in wastewater streams and for odor control in the air scrubbers of animal byproduct plants. It is also available for use as a deodorant for cars and boats, packaged as a chlorine dioxide generating package activated by water, and left in the boat car overnight. Safety issues in water and supplements, chlorine dioxide is toxic, hence limits on exposure to it are needed to ensure its safe use. The United States Environmental Protection Agency has set a maximum level of 0.8 mg per litre for chlorine dioxide in drinking water. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration, an agency of the United States Department of Labor, has set an 8-hour permissible exposure limit of 0.1 ppm in air for people working with chlorine dioxide. On July 30, 2010 and again on October 1, 2010, the United States Food and Drug Administration warned against the use of the product Miracle Mineral Supplement, or MMS, which when made up according to instructions produces chlorine dioxide. MMS has been marketed as a treatment for a variety of conditions, including HIV, cancer, autism, and acne. The FDA warnings informed consumers that MMS can cause serious harm to health, and stated that it has received numerous reports of nausea, severe vomiting, and life-threatening low blood pressure caused by dehydration, among other symptoms, such as diarrhea. References <laughs>